Today, we need to use this duck to end the lives of every chicken in the universe. Every time we turn one into bones, we get a little bit of money. And time is on our side. We can sit here and do this for hours. But we can also challenge the boss when we want to see if we can defeat him and then move on to bigger, better ducks. We have him quickly defeated. And I can also produce things down here, and I think this is going to give me uh, even better things once I combine them all. So we have level 3 rockets for our chicken attack 16. So we're doing 20 damage, which is again, one-shotting everything, and we've auto-rolled into a boss that we're absolutely obliterating. Until we have ADD and start attacking the rocket chickens, and we go right back to the boss. For that, we're going to celebrate by spawning another bullet. And luckily, these produce themselves pretty quickly, so we have level 3, so we can already have a level 4. That gives us a heavy shell, attack 21. So the next boss in level 5 is getting destroyed even worse than the last one. Now we can start spending our gold attack plus 1. Well, I'm going to buy it a lot. I'm going to go like that and we're going to auto click till we're out of money. Now we're already doing 47 damage, which is definitely enough to murder the chickens. So now we can just sit back and relax and hurl massive rockets into hordes of chickens. They're getting tougher though, and these ones are even fighting back. They're firing their eggs at us. Luckily, anytime I do anything, I feel like we just have massive upgrades everywhere. We've already saved up $600. And we have another boss coming in. We should focus all our firepower on him because he's at the front of the line. Well, $700 to $700. We might as well get more attack power. Now we have a 2 times multiplier, so we're already doing 55 damage. We're also fighting big drooly chickens now. They tend to get to our wall. But I think we're able to upgrade to a newer rocket already. Two level 4s make a level 5 heavy. Attack 28. So we're hitting for 71 damage now, which is enough to destroy that chicken. And I clicked the button to the right, and that gave me a whole bunch of extra of these things, so now I can combine these all. Okay, now I'm starting to realize that 10 out of 10 means you have 10 to combine. Yes, I do struggle monumentally with the simplest of tasks, but look what we got now. Heavy missile attack 37. So we're hitting for almost 100 damage now, so we're definitely going to keep generating uh, upgrades. The next boss has appeared and also been murdered. I hope I get one with splash damage soon. And we got another recharge for our blue button, so that's going to give us 10 charges here. So with a little bit of careful creative combining, we'll be able to create newer, better rockets, a seed shell with attack 48. Now we're hitting for 120 damage, so we're definitely killing those, though they're not very strong or intelligent. I'm also being harassed by a uh, goofy looking bird with a present. I don't want its charity. I want to suffer. Here's the next boss. We should be able to do some pretty big damage to it already. Not as much as I might like, so we're going to need maybe a damage upgrade. We are able to defeat it, but only barely. So that means we're going to spend $3,000 upgrading things like the level of missile produced. That's going to be handy. $750 for the next level. Yes, I will spend that immediately. Then the next $3,000 is going to simply be spent on increasing our damage again. So we're now hitting for 150 damage. And every time I buy a rocket now, it's level 3. That makes a colossal difference, because already we made another level 6. And quickly a level 7, that's going to turn into a level 8 as soon as it's allowing us to. We perhaps first have to eliminate the chickens that are attacking our very mighty wall. <laughs> we have a carrot rocket next for 62 damage. We also got a big reward for that, which basically means more damage. They are quickly overrunning our wall here this time, so we're going to need more of everything. We can get another merge slot or two. That's also going to be quite important. You know what? The more of those we can get, the quicker this is all going to be. And missile production is going to go up quite a lot. And then there's more good old damage. We hit level 100 for our damage multiplier, so now we can increase our HP. And HP recovery, that means we can put our health right back on. Well, we're, we're now recovering half an HP every second, so that's hopefully going to keep us alive, and we're going to add max HP, that way we can annoy things. The HP per second thing is actually really cheap, the price of this isn't really going up, so we're making money almost as fast as I'm spending it. And look at all these combining spaces we have now, we're also buying level 5 rockets from the shop. So we already have two level 8s, which are going to combine into a level 9 as soon as I'm allowed to. And there it is, King Carrot Missile, attack 81. And because we've collected enough corns from I don't know where, we can actually enhance the duck itself. So we got 15% attack. Don't worry, this all makes sense in some convoluted way. We quickly made another level 9, that's going to turn into a level 10 very shortly. Which makes an anchovy shell for 106. I can also hatch more eggs that give me more ducks to defend. We have a bomber, that sounds like something I would enjoy. We can arm the bomber with our level 8 uh, carrot. And he's literally a bomber. He's throwing giant bombs onto the battlefield, so he's already my favorite. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade his weapon as soon as we can to a level 9. 
And then since I saved up a thousand gems, we're going to increase our missile production by two levels. And then we're going to spend gold, I think, to do the same thing again. So we should be able to produce something high end, like level eight. We're going to get super strong missiles now. We can already combine the level nine into a level 10, and then the level 10s will turn into level 11 very soon. Level eights are so stupidly strong already. So there's more level 10s for everyone. Now we get a macro rocket that's a level 1137. And when we want more of those, we have two level 11s sitting in the shop. That's going to combine into Piranha missile 179 attack uh we also have a level 12 we already have what we need to turn a level 12 into a 13 we have like a rubber bullet guide shell 232 and because i have an auto merge uh equipped right now we can just click this button to refresh my charges and it's going to auto merge things into their super levels like we can combine our bombers into a level 12 and then into a 13 so now the bombs are extra strong as well so if we get more merge slots for 350 gems that means i can hit this button again and we're going to get even better results because we got more room to merge with and I won't stop until every chicken in the universe is defeated. I could definitely get used to this auto merge thing because look how quickly we got the guide rocket and we give that to the bomber because you can really never have too much damage. Oh, I can actually help it along by clicking. Now both my idiots have a level 14 attack. I think I can challenge the boss right away. So we're gonna s probably should have done that a while ago based on how that went. I'm clearly just very good at this game. Here's the next boss. He died in I think three hits. And there's definitely some potential better ducks to unlock. I think it's just chance what ones you get out of the eggs. Okay, we've just saved up enough money. So the uh, missile production has gone up. The rest of the money is going to uh, further damage multiplier. So now when you buy things from the shop, they are, I don't know what level. Look like we might be up to the corn level and that would be quite adequate, level nine. I don't know what happened, but we've unlocked the dungeon. That sounds like a fun place to play. So the dungeon is this, it's a race. We need to destroy the chickens before the time runs out and we get a reward. Luckily, I gave the bombers some really strong missiles so we can absolutely take out the hordes of chickens that cluster together. We're definitely going to complete this challenge if that's the easiest money ever. But now we're back to offing regular chickens again and I'm using the term regular here loosely. Our auto merge is also about to run out so that's very sad. Here's another boss who likes getting bombs dropped on his head. And we've unlocked a new missile. We've auto merged up to level 15. We're going to try our luck drawing a new chicken though because we need more damage. This time we got a rocker who is purple. We've also unlocked a second bomber. Uh, the rocker is an epic tier chicken, so that's hopefully going to give us a lot of good attack. And while we're waiting, we're going to go to a LED shell for 511 attack, and I'm going to give that to the bomber. I'm pretty sure in order to add another chicken to my line, I need to unlock one of these faces. There's another boss who we're absolutely destroying, and I don't know how to unlock a new slot yet. We're also going to increase the level of missiles produced by five for $50,000 because we had an easy $50,000. The next one gets really expensive. We're also going to increase our attack by a lot. So we're up to a four times multiplier for our attack. So they're dropping bombs for many thousands of damage. And now we're automatically getting level 10s from the shop and we can upgrade this one to level 15 already. I've also unlocked a legendary mage who has got crazy high stats. So as soon as I can place that thing, I will be. For now, we'll just enjoy the 8,000 damage we're doing while we're absolutely massacring chickens. I think they're walking straight toward our walls because their eyes point in the wrong direction so they can't actually see where they're going. And the next boss fight's already happening and we're destroying this one too, on to stage 30. We also have a lot of gems and money, so we're going to increase the production level of our missiles as much as we possibly can. That way we're just producing the big ones. So it seems currently like we're producing level 10s, but we have made a level 17, a candy light rocket for 665 damage. And both of my defenders have level 17 rockets now, so that feels good. Okay, after the upgrades finally caught up with themselves, we're now producing level 16s from the shop. And those are auto-merging into new things, so our damage is about to skyrocket really quick. For now, we'll give the level 18 to our bomber, and then we're gonna fire giant exploding light bulbs at the enemy chickens for 10,000 damage. And then we'll try and combine that into a baseball for 1,100 damage. Turns out that's enough to destroy the chickens in an instant. The game's also challenged me to defeat the gold mine level 2, and I think we're gonna be able to with our magic massive exploding damage. We made that look easy, back to producing very damaging rockets. The bosses are getting tougher, but we're still making them look stupid. Already we've got a level 19, so that's going to turn into a level 20 rugby ball rocket, 1500 damage. Plus a number of money that's so big it can only be described with a letter. Here's the next boss, level 36. He's actually putting up a bit of a fight, but I'm pretty sure I know how we can make that go quicker. 
we just start pressing the evaporate button. And we just keep pressing it until we can't anymore. We went from a 4 to a 6 times multiplier, so that's about a 50% increase in damage. So we're now hitting for about 30,000. Should probably also increase our max HP and re recovery considering how cheap this is. Missile production time. Every 10 seconds, add missiles that can be produced. I'm not sure I understand that, but I'll take it. And since we need to stockpile some resources, I can just go and relax, and we're just gonna grind money while I do nothing. A few minutes later, the A has turned into a B in our money. Thus, we can make a level 21 missile for the first time. So we'll do that for both of our ducks. Then we also need to increase the level of our missiles. Now we're producing level 18 light bulbs right from the factory. We've already made a level 22 droplet shell. So I'm just going to keep clicking these buttons and auto merging and we're going to get better and better things. Tin can rocket. And a water bottom missile. This one is 4200 damage. So we're going to trade that one out so the big one has a 23 and the bomber has a 24. We're also going to add more merge slots. We're long overdue to add some more of those. And then we're going to spend like millions of dollars on damage. So then we're going to go straight to the boss to see what the boss thinks about our new bombs and missiles. He's dead. So we're clearly doing something right. We're going to merge things back together. But now that we have 6,000 gems, we also need to upgrade our missile level again. The more we can get this up, the more faster, bigger, better missiles we're going to get. So we're going to spend like all of our money on that. Because the bosses aren't instantly disappearing even though we're doing 100,000 damage. Now we've also got some money to uh, increase missile production over here at least one time. So now we're at least producing baseballs, which are level 19. And that means we really quickly make the next level. Improved shell, 5,500 damage. And before you know it, we got enough to turn into a level 26. 7,000 damage rocket. So we're going to skip straight to the boss on this one. He's putting up a fight, but not that good of one. He's already dead. We've now upgraded to producing footballs. Footballs straight from the store is level 20. And I'm pretty sure the A simply means 1,000, so we're doing like 240,000 damage on some of these shots. Now we have rolling bomb chickens. It's funny because they're just basically designed to explode themselves anyway. And upgrading our uh, attack level seems to unlock other options, and this is just going to give us more damage anyway. So we were at 240,000 on the upper end, now we're well over 300,000 damage, so let's bring the boss in to see what the boss thinks about our newfound damage. Looks like we're going to win this one, including the rolling chicken bombs. They are doing some damage to our walls. That actually defeated me. Clearly we need more HP and HP regeneration. Luckily it is stupidly cheap still to upgrade these. So we're at 238 health and all the way probably a similar thing for this. Now let's try the boss while upgrading our bomber also to level 26. And well, that's easy. The upgrades are getting expensive. They're costing 1 point something B at this point so we can only afford maybe a few. Luckily our walls are also super strong at this point, 169 HP and they recharge fast. And we finally get a new tier, we're gonna upgrade the bomber to a level 27 and it's fittingly a nuke. So we defeated that boss but only barely. I'm really quickly gonna do chicken gold mine level 3 to see if this is anything worth my while. We can do it, I just wanna murder chickens, I don't have a good reason for being here. That was pretty hard to do and didn't give me a very good reward at all. Here's the boss's stage 56, so far we're getting lots of damage straight on him and the bombs I'm pretty sure are wrecking everything else. They're able to hit our wall, the wall is coming health back, uh, they're actually gonna defeat us. Just slightly. Okay, we need more damage, we need better missiles, so I'm going to spend 2,500 gems, more like 5,000 gems, upgrading the level of missiles, and then we're going to do the same on this side. So now for the story they're coming out, I think is level 22. Even better, they're popping out as level 23. So we should be able to merge to new heights, actually immediately, here's a level 28. It's a rock missile, the most functional and useful of all the missiles. I kind of also forgot I could just be straight up upgrading my ducks, uh, though I wanted to wait for a better one to upgrade anyway, because these ones are stupid. But the upgrades, since we're getting Hitting level 23 so in the shop, we're going to be able to hit level 30 missiles in no time. We already got a level 29 scissor missile. So we'll give that to our original duck and the rest of these are going to sit right where they're at. Now we do have 228 so we have 229s. I think since we failed the boss, we're just doomed to continue on stage 56 until we summon the boss. But we're not going to do that until we're ready. He defeated us so we're going to make him look stupid. I've also sped up the missile production naturally so this is 20% quicker. Also, we're going to get our first level 30. We're going to put that on the bomber, a paper missile. Now we have an option to produce missiles automatically every 20 seconds. And also auto merge every 20 seconds. We're going to take that one. Then I don't have to pay attention ever. Then we're going to spend 102B on damage. Strictly damage. That brings us up to a 15 times damage multiplier. So let's try that boss again. Now that we have much stronger missiles and damage. All right, we made him look stupid. Mission accomplished. 
Here's the next boss at 57 already, never mind, he's dead. The level 59 chicken is putting up much more of a fight, mostly because our damage went to his underlings before getting to him and exploding him everywhere. We can also upgrade our original chicken, they both have level 30 uh, missiles now. We can also now give our duck a new power from the store. So for one red gem, we can increase the duck slot. And for a green one, we can increase tack by times 1.5, so those are both huge, I just don't know where to get those particular things. And now we're fighting new chicken bosses entirely. Uh, we're already on stage 63, I swear I blink and then things happen. I officially feel stupid because this whole time I could have swapped out these much stronger ducks for the ones I had before. But I did also manage to get one singular red gem so that means I get an extra duck slot. And I can increase my attack by 1.5 times. So that means I have incredibly powerful ducks now. I've also enhanced my legendary mage duck once. He now has 3000% attack power. So I feel like him by himself is absolutely going to destroy. He's doing 63B damage. I do also now have three ducks to arm though. So luckily I have a level 30 sitting there. So all three of them have level 30 missiles. So we are tearing through these levels. Level 75 duck is <laughs> giving a little resistance, but not much. Having three ducks and all this damage really makes things a lot easier. Even stage 70. We're wrecking that thing. We still need more damage though. I'm just gonna keep on clicking this until I can't click anymore. We're up to a 19, almost a 20 times multiplier. Okay, once I close the annoying menu, we're up to 25 times multiplier, so the damage is much bigger again. 104B damage. And all these combinations gave me a 30, so we're gonna upgrade the Mage Duck to a Drill Shell, level 31. 30,000 base damage. Though the bosses are suddenly getting very strong in stage 80. This thing is actually chewing up my wall pretty bad. But I think we're going to win, if only by a little bit. Well, let's let these idiots run for the next 10 years and see where that gets us.